Once again, we take a look at some of the most incredible aircraft being built for tomorrow. Starting off with some of the deadliest UAVs, and then finally ending with some of the most amazing supersonic airliners. So stay tuned, and let's begin the top 10 countdown. At number 10, the Kratos. One of the deadliest and smaller UAVs will be capable of carrying over 550 pounds of payload and can strike from over 2,000 miles away. It will fly along with manned aircraft and it can swarm target areas with bombs. So like many UAVs, the primary objective is to decrease the risk to the pilot and be used as a deterrent to the enemy. At number 9, the MQ-25. My favorite concept comes from Lockheed Martin. It's an unmanned tanker, so it refuels other aircraft, which are already flying in the air. The tech behind the UAV will be built around the RQ-170, and the jet will carry around 14,000 pounds of fuel, which is quite a bit for a UAV. The payload is dispersed throughout the flying wing, giving it a range of about 500 miles. And like most concepts, the MQ-25 is still relatively in its infancy phase, so we'll just have to wait and see if this idea really comes to fruition. At number 8, Magma, and not the lava kind of stuff. BAE's concept drone is something completely different. There are no ailerons, flaps, or even tails for that matter, and it will rely completely on wind circulation control and fluidic thrust vectoring. And you're probably asking, well, what is fluidic thrust vectoring? Well, basically this works by using additional jets of air directed at the main exhaust nozzle, and thus controlling the vehicle. So there are no moving parts, and it has stealth capabilities, so it's kind of a new aircraft which can break a few limits on the conventional form of flying. And trials are being performed right now, so you're likely to see this aircraft in the future. At number 7, the TR-X. The US Air Force will eventually retire its legendary U-2 reconnaissance aircraft. And that is a pretty tall order considering that the U-2 is literally an icon for its length of service and reliability. The TR-X is a stealth UAV vehicle, which will perform similar missions and eventually replace the U-2. It will also be subsonic and naturally designed around the original U-2, but it will be completely unmanned. We now shift direction a little bit and we look at number 6, the Bell FCX-001. Now a few helicopter concept models exist out there, but this one is probably one of the most exaggerated and profound crafts. Some far out ideas have been presented with this 12 passenger machine, including a thrust vectoring, anti-torque tail, and morphine motor blades. Although I'm a little bit skeptical on whether they can pull off these new technologies. So we have to keep in mind that this is just a concept right now, but it is one of the more ambitious projects which pushes the boundary of modern helicopter design. At number 5, the Aston Martin Volante. Flying cars, we pretty much see a new one every day. But the Volante is one which I think most of us would want to drive. It's based on a hybrid electric design, and the vehicle should be a fully autonomous and carry three passengers. And like many flying cars, it would take off and land vertically, so it can maneuver in tight urban areas. But to be honest, this is only a concept, so I'm not going to get too excited about it, and it might not even be built. At number 4, the Boom Sonic. There are a few private companies making supersonic airliners, and Boom is one of the frontrunners. The 55-seater will be capable of going Mach 2, and it will have a range of 4,500 miles, which is really impressive. But, as we all know, supersonic flight presents limitations on where you can actually fly because of the loudness of the boom. The company, ironically named Boom, claims that they have solved this problem, and that their airliner will be 30 times quieter than the Concorde, and they are already testing a smaller prototype plane. So whether it comes from Arion, Spike Aerospace, or even Boom, I'm going to bet that there will be a supersonic plane within a decade. And it's about time. At number 3, the X-59 Quest. So we know that a few companies are driving towards supersonic airliners. But what are the government agencies building? Well, one of NASA's new projects is the X-59 Quest. Partnered with Lockheed Martin, the test vehicle will be able to go Mach 1 and create a boom of around 75 decibels at 55,000 feet. Which is pretty much the same decibel level of a freeway 50 feet away. And that is much, much lower than a Concorde. Ultimately, this project will help ensure that supersonic travel becomes viable pretty much everywhere. And number two, Boeing's hypersonic aircraft. Supersonic airliners are being built right now, but one extreme vision takes it a step up. Hypersonic is fast, and it's usually classified as faster than Mach 5. So if you can imagine getting to your destination five times quicker, or even crossing the Pacific Ocean in only a couple of hours. Now this particular plane would probably seat around 75 passengers and fly around 95,000 feet, which would give pretty amazing views. But obviously these speeds are really hard to maintain due to the amount of heat and stress exerted on the aircraft's frame and engines. 
So it'll take quite a bit of development to make this hypersonic airliner a reality. And once again, I know I talk about it all the time, I recommend checking out Reaction Engines and their progress on making a revolutionary hybrid rocket engine. At number 1, the B-21 Raider. The iconic B-1 and B-2 bombers, which have served for decades, will eventually be replaced by the B-21, which is one of the most anticipated and expensive projects. The Raider will be a long-range, stealth aircraft which can deliver thermal nuclear weapons, and let's hope that never happens. So the flying wing will no doubt incorporate the latest and greatest tech, with a projected unit cost of around 500 million, a number which I think is still overly conservative. Naturally, these bombers will also be accompanied by a future 6th generation fighter, which will also eventually replace the F-22. So the future of flight will dramatically change in only a few years, and it's definitely an exciting time to live in. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you found it useful, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.